Hi guys and welcome back to Sparajo Madrid. My name is Daniela. I'm showing you a great one bedroom apartment in El Barrio de las Letras. I really think you're gonna like it. Come with me. Okay guys, so we're standing by the front door right now and as you can see, we're looking right into a hallway. We have really nice white walls and we have this beautiful hardwood floor. So we walk a few steps and as you can see, the hallway goes down this way, but let's check out the bedroom first. If we walk through here, you see it's very lovely uh, double bed right here. We have two uh, night tables right there with you know drawers and a lamp. And over here, very important, we have AC. Madrid gets super hot in the summer, so it's really nice that it has AC. And we also have the heating. If we turn around this way, we can see the closet. Let's open it up and check it out. Over here, open it slowly, not bang anything, there we go. So I'm gonna take this little step back to see, so you guys can see it a little better. We have this big um, rack right there that goes all the way down here. And then we have a little shelf here, and we also have some drawers here. So very, very spacious. And if we look up here, we see that we actually have another cabinet there. And that's perfect, you know, just to keep things out of sight. Uh, maybe bags or whatever you want to keep out of sight, you can put them in there. And as you can see, this closet even has a key. Okay, we have this little ottoman sort of thing here. And before we leave the bedroom, let's walk this way. Check out the view. It's an inner uh, apartment, so we're getting an inner patio view. And it's nice and quiet. I'm going to turn around this way so you can see it. Right there. And also, in the nightstands, we have uh, drawers and also a few shelves. So, you know, perfect for charging your phone and having some personal objects. So this would be the bedroom. Okay, we continue to walk this way. Turn around back in the hallway. And if we look over here, we have the bathroom. So you can see it's a pretty spacious bathroom. We have a lot of floor space over here. We also have this really nice deep blue uh, tiles right here then mesh with like lighter ones. Over here we have the sink, we have some space over here for toiletries, your toothbrush, your deodorant and whatnot, and of course a mirror here for you get ready in the morning. We have the indispensable toilet, and if we look this way we see that we have a full tub, so if you like to take bubble baths, this is it for you, you have a full tub for that. And we have a removable shower head, and you put it th right there, and that becomes a regular shower. And we also have this glass partition, which is just a little nicer than having a regular shower curtain. Okay, so let's check out, this would be the bathroom. Back again to the hallway, and we walk into the main living area. And as you can see, it's very spacious. Very lovely, we have a lot of floor space here. We're getting some natural light through that window. It's an inner apartment, we, we do get some uh, natural light. If we look this way, we see that we have a nice dining room table, this nice wooden finishings with four chairs, so perfect to have your meals. And if we turn around here, we have this couch, which I believe is actually also a bed. So if you have guests, they can sleep over very comfortably. And if not, you can use, them a, a, use it as a regular couch. You turn around and you have ETV, so you can watch movies here and just have a general very comfy time. We also have some furniture here for you to decorate and store whatever you need. I always recommend plants, Monstera plants are my favorite. And you know, you can put some books and you can also have, you know, we have some um, glasses over here, but you can also use it as just general storage. We also have a chair right here with a coffee table so you can bring friends over and hang out. We also have AC here, as I mentioned, very important. And the view, as you can see, is of an inner patio. So still very quiet and still getting a lot of natural light, which is nice. Take a look at the living room from the side. It is quite lovely. And it feels really airy inside. And we also have these really nice finishings in the ceiling, as you can see. It's really nice. Okay, and last but not least, we have the kitchen. We have this really cool yellow tile, which I actually really like. It's very rare to find yellow tile. And over here, we have another window that goes to the same inner patio as the living room. That's actually the living room window. Over here, we have the kitchen sink. As you can see, very big sink, very open. 
If we look over here, we see that we actually have um, a place to dry your plates and cups above the sink, and it's a nice way to, you know, keep the clutter out of the countertop and just use this, and that way you keep a tidier kitchen. Down here, we have some storage, perfect for cleaning supplies and trash. We have some countertop here, very important if you like to cook meals, you know that you need a little table space to cut up your veggies and whatnot, so we have it here. Some kitchen utensils. Over here we have storage. This is a fully equipped kitchen, so we have plates, pots, pans, glasses, and whatnot. And of course, the space to keep them right there. If we look down over here, we see that we have the washing machine. And then over here, we have four electric stove tops, the oven, and the microwave. And over here, if we open this up, is actually the fridge right there. So. This would be the kitchen. Let's take a look from this side. We have this sort of sunflower um, detailing over here. And this would be it. Well guys, that was it for today. I really hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye.